I'm Heather, I'm from Pale Waves. We're a band and we're from Manchester. This is our first time ever at Great Escape. I've heard so many great things about this festival. It's really well known and there's a lot of industry people here and it's just a really great festival to be a part of. There's nothing quite like playing, you know, the songs that you wrote, seeing people, you know, sing your lyrics back to you. Like, it's still, it's still mind-blowing for me. There's just not a better feeling than performing your own songs. I grew up with my dad playing guitar around the house and me and him would just always stay up really late and just play music together and really annoy my mum. You know, I do it for a reason to escape, but as Pale Waves is getting bigger, you definitely consider the fans way, way more. And, you know, when you're writing something that you're really proud of, you just can't wait for them to hear it as well. And, you know, we give a really honest performance. We just want everyone to have a really good time and enjoy themselves. Where do we go from here? Some My name is Dermot Kennedy, and I am a singer songwriter from Ireland. I was in a band for years and then we split up. So just because I was back on my own, I started doing more acoustic stuff. It was that kind of intimacy, whereas it's grown now to a point where there's four of us in the band and it's it's kind of like a much bigger production than what it was even two years ago. It always just pushed for kind of intimacy and people sitting down and chilling out and kind of just people being completely focused. And I just realized you can kind of have both. And it kind of exists in the music as well, dynamically, like there's moments that are still acoustic and there's moments that are much bigger. I started writing before I started playing nearly and then it was just almost a vehicle to kind of get those songs across. If you just try and kind of focus on yourself and not worry too much about like pressure from anybody else, it's just purely about the music, there's nothing else. And if you can kind of make that lane for yourself where you connect with a large amount of people and for it always to stay the same and to fill rooms with people who are only there for the music, I just think that's what I'd like to be known for. Over the beaches. You know, us being from Canada, this is a great way for us to be exposed to some more UK audiences, and it's great how it's in all these small bars and little venues. We're like a live rock and roll band, so we really excel playing like in small venues where people can really feel us out, you know. So it's really great to be a part of this festival where there's so many opportunities to play those sorts of venues. To us, playing live is the most important thing. We rehearse every day when we're home. We make sure we play as a band every single day together, and I think that that helps uh, translate with our live show. In our album, we also recorded part of it live off the floor as well, so we really hold that uh, near and dear to our hearts. I hate to bring up the girl thing. You know, People might have that expectation when they see you that you're not going to be good because of your gender and age. So you have to be better than the dudes that are playing. You have to be as good and better than them to compete in this market. So that was something that we had in our heads getting started. So performing has been really important to us to make sure that we make a strong impression every time we get up on stage. I'm Alma, I'm a singer, artist, songwriter, and I come from Finland. I think when I started to just know who I am as a person, then I started to feel also more comfortable. If somebody don't like me, they can go away, but I'm not going away. So like, I love that feeling. Typical Alma show is very energetic, a lot of emotions and feelings. A lot of gay people and gay people are the best people in the world so I'm just enjoying and they hopefully are enjoying. A lot of energy and good vibes. It's important that there is small clubs and, and there is like that there is a chance for like new artists to conquer the world. Do everything if it makes you happy. If it if it's if it's not making you happy then do something else. I don't even care, like I can do 100 interviews if I get to be on stage and sing and see the fans, you know? It's just, for me, it's just why I do this. It's so important. <laughs>